there are many, unfortunately, unmet needs in the peripheral teeth cell lymphoma space. I think, you know, this um, uh, 40% or 20% long-term survival with CHAP-based therapy does leave a lot to be desired um, for our patients. Um, and so improving the frontline therapy remains a, a huge um, unmet need, uh, whether that's with the addition of other medicines or um, trying to figure out ways to modify treatment to more personalized treatment, I think will ultimately come. Uh, but at this time, the treatment has really been a one size fits all approach. Um, there's been some data to show that um, perhaps like we found out with anaplastic large cell lymphoma, that there might be uh, drugs or agents or therapies that are better for certain subtypes of peripheral T cell lymphoma. And I think that world will come um, soon as well, where we might give patients who have a peripheral T cell lymphoma that has a T follicular helper phenotype, a different sort of therapy than we would give those who don't have that uh, phenotype. Um, Additionally, there is a, a large unmet need to start to prognosticate who's at highest risk and who's at lower risk of, um, of cure. Um, and um, for those who are at low, um, have a low probability of cure with their frontline therapy, how to then uh, pivot their strategy earlier to not give them so much shop and then uh, start to use a different agent. Um, and so hopefully that time will come where we'll be able to personal, as patients are getting treatment, either with interim scans or interim blood analyses, like looking at minimal residual disease, be able to tell people, well, you've gotten two cycles of this, it's unlikely to lead to long-term benefit. We're gonna be able to switch your treatment to X or Y in effort to get you to other curative treatment. And then also similarly um, to find uh, which patients do benefit the most from CHOP-based therapy, and then being able to find, to inform those patients and doctors early on in the patient's treatment that they're more likely to be cured than some of their peers. Um, so I think those are some of the major unmet needs is, is trying to figure out better treatments up front, figure out um, who's more likely or less likely to be cured with that treatment so you can personalize treatment to those patients, whether that's by um, individual patient dynamic markers or um, through things like histology or molecular testing.